you are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host party system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it does add up to the scriptures and it's not true. All right, folks, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It, Before the Fire, 4321, Before the Fire. Let's see if that works. So, guys, um, uh, first of all, about that last video I did, I'm sorry I was so tired. I'd worked all day, and I came out here super late just to get started. I was exhausted, but I wanted to get that off my plate because I have too much staying up. So, watch this. The Lord got me up this morning around 4 a.m. and I got up and he walked me right into my com right up to my computer and I opened an email and as I was looking at it, the Lord told me, I heard in my spirit, Isaiah, those your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And I heard the Lord tell me, go to Isaiah. Y'all want to freak out? You want to you want to freak out? Then let's freak out. Y'all remember the Vatican, the largest altar in the world, turns into a big bug when you zoom out from it, right? Let's go and have a look. So there is the altar, the chair of St. Peter right there. I've shown it to you many, many times. When you get back from it, the whole thing becomes a bug. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on their virtual tour. And I'm going to go right in here at number five so you can look at this from a long way away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and grab one of the images of the insect from this file. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so right here, when you get away from this altar and you have a look, this is what the Lord showed me. The whole thing becomes an insect. Let's see if I can. There you go. The whole, so I drew it in for you. The entire altar becomes an insect. Harvesting angels because the angels are turning into semen it shows them coming into the system as light beings and getting host bodies male and female that's why the the reproductive systems are on that alter male and female reproductive systems okay ready watch this guys go to the new folder hang on one sec let's go to let's see if it opened up Look, uh, let's see. I'll tell you what. Go to this folder. Go to Special Projects 2. Uh, we're going to go to Parthenogenesis right here. Parthenogenesis 2. You're going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to show you Isaiah. And I'm going to remind you of some images. Like the girl's shadow she's casting is an insect. Why is the largest church in the world in the shape of a serpent? Why is Mut uh, and, and Serket and Mut, the, the primordial goddess of the abyss in the Egyptian pantheon of gods, twin female energy coming up from the pit, starting a host body system? Watch this. Y'all ready? Okay. Right here is where I want you to go. Have y'all noticed all these commercials that pop up on all your videos these days for new uh, Become a Legend, Hero Wars. It pops up and it has a lot of females like they're either devils or they're scorpions and they're they're eating men and then men are going down to like to the pit and stuff. Here's just one of the images I saved right here. It's just an image that pops up as an ad. Remember, I told you I'm bearing witness to the destruction of the temple, which is the host body simple. I'm sorry. The destruction of the temple, which is the host body system. And here in Revelation 17, the great prostitute and the beast, because see, the female system is what produced the beast system. And the angels come into it and get trapped in a duplicitous system. So you're good and evil and you're trapped in that system. And unless you turn back to the Lord God with all your heart, the system, the beast system consumes you. Now watch this. 
Watch what the Lord showed me in Isaiah. Ready? Let's start here in, in uh, Revelation 17. Uh, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and he talked with me, saying unto, Come hither, I will show you, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And then on verse 4 it says, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored, and the word scarlet color is from the kernel, the shape of the insect. So it, it says from the kernel shape of the insect. Well, isn't it fascinating? We have, you know, uh, a Canadian $20 coin. That's an insect hatching, guys. That is, a, that is an insect hatching out of a pupa. But the insect's reflection is human. Think about that. The insect's reflection is human. Now I've simply colored it in so you can see it. It's very obviously an insect. It's that serpent race hatching using the host body to do it. Now let me show you Isaiah 14. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof and opened not the house of his prisoners. Look, it says the word prisoners to yoke or hitch together, to join in battle, to bind fast. Superhuman angel demon bound fast within a host body system. It's the most obvious thing in the world. Watch this. Let's get to Isaiah 1 now. Ready? So, it's obvious that there's a right side up and an upside down. You look at the image of the Virgin. Okay, I wrote darkness because that's the darkness. And then you turn it upside down and you see the dead sheep. That's the light. Come out of the darkness into the light. There you go. So to come into the light, you invert everything. But now let me show you what the Lord showed me this morning in Isaiah. And get ready to freak out. Isaiah 1. Okay, here we go. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, the self-existing eternal Jehovah. Though your sins, okay, look at this, a crime or its penalty, grievous offense, punishment of sin, though your sins be as scarlet, the crimson color of the insect, because we got joined to an insect race, I told you. That's why the Vatican is a snake. That's why there's a big insect altar. That's why all the information the Lord's given me bears witness to it. That's why Michelangelo did this bust at the Medici castle. That's a worm coming out of a host body because they use us to hatch themselves. There it is. That's why the girl's casting the shadow of an insect. And on and on and on it goes. That's why the new games are all these women popping up as scorpions, eating men. It's the same thing over and over. That's why you have Ozzy Osbourne, patient number nine, the two female energies coming up from the pit, forming a serpent. Here's the Vatican, two serpents coming together. And we know that that female energy rises out of the bottomless pit. And then the serpent race takes over. There it is. Look. Look at Isaiah. Look at Isaiah. Though your sins be as scarlet, thus saith the Lord, let us reason together, though your sins, a crime or penalty, grievous offense, be as scarlet, crimson, properly the insect, because we got yoked together with the serpent race. We're the sheep. They're the serpent race. Just like I've shown you over and over and over again. But look at how it's defined right now in, in Isaiah. Though your sins, your grievous offense against the Lord God, he has the scarlet color of the insect. There it is right there. As the insect. Be a scarlet. Crimson, properly the insect or its color or stuff dyed with it. They shall be white as snow. It's interesting, snow from its whiteness. Though they be red like crimson, look at the word red. Though they be red, your sins be red like crimson. Look at the word red. Adam, see, like Adam. It's the root of the word Adam. Hebrew word 120. It's 119. It's Adam. See it red, ruddy. 
that like Adam, Adam, to be red. So they shall be white as snow, though they be red, Adam, like crimson. Here it is, a maggot as voracious. Because see, our sins tied us together to that insect race. Why do you think the largest altar in the world is a big insect harvesting semen? Because the angels come in, you cross through to the other side in semen. That's how you get into the flesh. You're spir a spiritual being, and you come into the system. That's how you come in. Look at this. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel... Now, this is very important that y'all listen to me. There are channels out there that their whole purpose is to hate Jonathan Clegg and anyone that follows him. Okay, think about that. See, they want to suck you into being mad and hey, oh, go over there and fighting with them. The Lord told me to ignore them now. I took the necessary steps that the Lord told me to take. I went and did what he said. So everything's just where it needs to be right now. But the Lord told me, don't bother with them. Don't even go look at it. You don't need to. There's already some, you know, that stuff's already being harvested. It doesn't matter. All the comments, all the videos. So don't go over there because let me show you what their goal is. Let me show you their goal. But if you refuse and rebel, rebel, positively to make bitter, to provoke, provocation. Let me ask you a question. For any of you that have seen those channels that I'm talking about, is that all they do? Is that all they do is try and provoke and stir you up and make you mad? You know what you do for them? You pray for them. You start praying for them. God have mercy on them. You do, because then you don't get sucked in. That's They're trying to provoke everybody. That's all they do. All their comments, we've saved all these comments. If you read through the comments, they're just trying to provoke, provoke, provoke anger, bitterness. And look what it says. But if you refuse and rebel, rebel, positively to make bitter or unpleasant, that's all that I see over there, to rebel, rebel, resist, to provoke, provocation, that's all they do, thou shalt be devoured to burn up, devour. So that is, and that again, proves all the information that the Lord showed me. Why is the largest altar in the world a big buck? Though your sins be as crimson, the scarlet color of the insect, because we got, we got yoked together with that serpent race that's attached to the insects from the pit, from the bottomless pit. What comes out of the pit when it opens? Insects? Locusts with tails like scorpions? Let me show you this. What about, like, even like flow? Watch this. Let me see if, here we go. Remember, protected by flow? Here is a commercial for insurance. Watch this. Why is there a head of scorpion stinger? Protected by flow. That, look at that. I mean, just think about what you're looking at. Protected by flow. They didn't put eyes on her, you know, it's showing that her identity is like really concealed. That's a scorpion stinger, and that's poison, like a venomous beast. Now watch. Now if I just simply take a scorpion right here, and I just put the, her on it, like that's the tail, it's very obvious that is the tail of a scorpion. There it is. You see what I mean? So it's very easy to see now. Uh, why do you think in the Vatican, see, here's the beast system, there's the, they get the angel in the host body, and then the collar that's on you, that's the beast system, and then all you have to do is you turn it upside down, and then that becomes the locust coming out of the pit. And so now we go back to Isaiah, though your sins be as scarlet, your sins, look at that, your sins, a crime or its penalty grievous offense. What was the forbidden fruit? Neither shall you touch it. What? Lie with a woman, lest you die. Okay, so we're all here of our own doing. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins, crime or penalty, grievous offense against the Lord, be as scarlet, crimson, the properly the insect or its color. They shall be white as snow. They, they, though they be red, Adam, Adam, 
like crimson, a maggot as voracious a grub. And that goes straight to that goes straight to Job. So now I'm gonna go to Job. Ready? Now we're gonna go to Job 25. Watch this. How can a man be justified with L, the Almighty God? See L? See, L is the God from heaven, L. Or how can he be clean to be translucent, to be innocent? How can he be made clean? That of which is born of a woman. There it is. An adulteress, Isha Nashim. There it is. Watch this. Even, even the moon and it shineth not, yet the stars are not pure in his sight. Look at the word stars. Star, a prince. That's why we had night under the stars. How much less a man that is a worm. Look at the word worm. In the sense of breeding, figuratively a worm says a maggot as rapidly bred and the son of man look the son of man adam which is a worm there it is same word a maggot a the crimson grub there it is and the claws died from it and bound together with it we've been bound together with an insect race proved it right here using the scriptures the lord woke me up at four something this morning and i marched me right into that computer and sat me right down at Isaiah 1. Just try and try and just try and wrap your brain around that. Look at this, Isaiah 1. There it is. Go from Isaiah 1 to Job 25, and I put it all in the folders. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet. So you got you got tied together with that insect race, crimson, properly the insect. They shall be white as snow, though they be red, Adam, like crimson, a maggot as voracious, the crimson grub, uh, in connection and the color from it and the cloth dyed with it, scarlet worm. That's why the Bible says, I'll restore to you the years the canker worm is eaten and the locust. Because see, years of your life, you're a spiritual being and you're in a host body. And he's going to restore that because your life, you've been getting fed off by a worm your entire life. Let's see. There it is. I did this quite a while back. And I did this just so you could understand. There's the stars. L, the almighty God in heaven. I put it up here. L, this represents one eye. It goes to the pit, it goes down, and then you see all the, the insects. And then the other eye goes to heaven to a star. So that's your condition. So you have one eye that goes down to an insect, and your other eye that goes up to a star, which is one of God's princes. So you are the stars, we are the princes of El, the Almighty God. But we got trapped in a system with male and female energy within the host body system and the female energy is attached to the pit where a race of locusts is being formed to come out and make war against the lord god when the pit opens your sins are though your sins be as scarlet the insect there it is scarlet crimson properly the insect so your skins be as the insect. There's the insect right there. You're looking at it. How do you get the insect? You turn the, the prince upside down that's trapped in the... See, turn that prince upside down that's trapped in the system, the female system, and you get the insect. Mystery solved, guys. All glory to God. All glory to the king. All that information's right here if you want it. You can go right here. Start where this, like, scorpion hero wars are. And just look at all these, just look at all these scriptures together. I put them all in together for you so you can look at them all in a row. You start here and you just go this direction and just look at it all. It's self-explanatory. The word declares it. And that's why the enemy so PO'd at Johnny, because the Lord God poured the truth into me. He poured himself into me. And he let me solve the riddle of ages like he said he would. <laughs> Let's blow that shofar because you know what? I think the time is probably pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Now, you're going to have to give me a second on this. Let me uh, give me one back.
All right, guys, the king's coming. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but your sins are as scarlet, the insect. That's why That's why the Vatican has a giant insect. That's why the list of popes, a human and a slave collar, turned it upside down, is an insect. Remember, surely your turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. What about Ecclesiastes 7 now? Um, who can make equitable, equal? That was the last video. Who can make equal that which Elohim has turned upside down? It's done. The mystery solved. It's over. Their little hiding place has been made naked now. They are naked. They are just, they've been made naked. They are exposed now. That's it. Far and wide, guys. Send this video out to everyone. Send it to everyone. This thing is done. All right, guys. Love you in Christ.